After World War II, Europe became divided based on political ideology. As the dust was still settling from the conflict in Europe and people began to rebuild their towns and cities, the East and West became divided. Two influential organizations were created that demonstrated this separation, NATO and the Warsaw Pact. However, when the Soviet Union collapsed, so did the Warsaw Pact. Yet NATO endured and is still in operation, which means that if a NATO member is attacked by an outside force, then all active members could be called upon to protect their fellow member state. So how does this happen? When would NATO troops be called upon and who are the member nations of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization? Finally, how does this all relate to the current crisis and war in Europe due to Vladimir Putin? This is up next here at Learning the Social Sciences, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. NATO was created in 1949. Western nations like the United States, France, and Belgium came together as the threat from the Soviet Union increased. But the nations also joined together to stop nationalistic militarism from rising again, like it did in Germany and Italy, which resulted in World War II. Over 35 million Europeans died during the war, and millions more were in refugee camps, while others were desperate for food and basic supplies in bombed out cities. The alliance was seen as a way to bring European countries together after being torn apart by war. Thus, they thought this could prevent future conflicts. Political issues surfaced when the Communist Party in Czechoslovakia took over the nation in 1948. Even though they lost in a democratically held election, they took the nation anyway. Other democracies were wondering if Stalin would do more, and he did. Germany was separated into four sectors after World War II. The United States, the United Kingdom, and France would all unify together to form West Germany while the Soviet Union held one sector, which eventually would become East Germany. Divided in the center of East Germany was the capital Berlin, having also an East and West sector. On June 24, 1948, Stalin cut off West Berlin from West Germany, resulting in the Berlin airlift. The Western European democracies, along with the United States and Canada, knew they needed to form an alliance to face continued threats from the Soviet Union as one unified force. The North Atlantic Treaty was signed on April 4th, 1949, with three primary purposes of deterring Soviet expansion, forbidding nationalistic militarism, and encouraging European political integration. Most recognize it as an organization where member nations agree to mutual defense if attacked by an outside of NATO power. The Berlin blockade was eventually lifted in May 1949, and ultimately stability returned to Europe with the alliance's security. The original members included the United States, the United Kingdom, Norway, Portugal, the Netherlands, Italy, Iceland, Luxembourg, France, Denmark, Belgium, and Canada. New nations joined NATO in the 1950s, including Turkey and West Germany. However, in 1955, when West Germany joined NATO, the Soviet Union formed its own alliance with its client states. The Warsaw Pact included the Soviet Union, East Germany, Albania, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Hungary, and Romania. Although also communist, Yugoslavia did not join, and Albania actually left in 1968. The pact was the military side of the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, which was an economic organization for the communist states of Europe. 
Although this pact came about due to the integration of West Germany into NATO, it allowed the Soviet Union to maintain a level of military control over its member states, which would be seen in Czechoslovakia in 1968 and Hungary in 1956, when the Soviet Union crushed democratic movements within those two countries. After the fall of the Soviet Union and communism in Central and Eastern Europe, more nations joined NATO, including Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, just to name a few. Throughout the Cold War, the NATO and Warsaw Pact nations never directly conflicted with each other. Peace prevailed and continued to prevail in the years after the collapse of the USSR. However, when the Ukraine made a move in 2008 to seek membership in NATO, Russia disapproved. Yet the process ended after the 2010 presidential election when new leadership decided to be non-aligned. Things changed in 2014 when Russia under Vladimir Putin attacked the Ukraine and annexed Crimea, a southern peninsula in the Black Sea. The fighting in the Donbass region has continued since 2014 until presently. In 2019, the constitution was amended in Ukraine so that they could join NATO and the European Union, and the process of joining was reviewed in 2021 during the Brussels summit. However, as of February 24th, 2022, the Ukraine was not a member of NATO. The North Atlantic Treaty, or more specifically, the Washington Treaty, states under Article 5 that an armed attack on one member of the alliance is an attack on all of them. This then compels all members to come to the aid of each other. This is known as the Collective Defense Article, or the Commitment Clause, as it is specific with pointing out an armed attack. The first time NATO invoked Article 5 was after the 9-11 terrorist attacks within the United States. It was never invoked during the Cold War. More recently, it has been brought in to include a massive or devastating cyber attack. Yet in the end, it would be up to the 30 member nations to determine if they would actually ever invoke Article 5. In 2018, NATO took actions against Russia and its diplomats by expelling them from their nations after an attack in Salisbury, United Kingdom. A former Russian spy and his daughter were attacked with a nerve agent and found ill on a park bench. The two survived, but another woman died after coming into contact with the nerve agent later. This alarmed NATO. Due to the invasion of the Ukraine by Russia on February 24th, Article 4 has been called upon by bordering nations of Russia and Ukraine. Article 4 states that when the territorial integrity, political independence, or security of any of the parties is threatened, a consultation can be called. This article does not mean that military action will occur, but that member states will be in a more intensified communication period. This has happened several times historically. On February 25th, NATO did state that it was activating its force for defensive purposes for the first time ever due to the military actions of Russia under Putin. The NATO response force is always ready, 24-7, 365 days a year, just in case a crisis arises. The force is made up of troops from the member nations who rotate. It has a land, sea, and air force, along with elite special forces. NATO also added a spearhead unit after Russia annexed Crimea in 2014. Leaders of NATO are going to continue to be in discussion as the fighting in Ukraine continues. If you have any other questions about NATO, please leave them in the comments below. Also, remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you know when we post new content here at Learning the Social Sciences. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.